Sarah here with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in for another soap making adventure. Starting off the June release with a super cute kitty cat soap. I was contacted a few months ago by a friend of a friend to make a calico designed cat soap for a vet office that she was giving um, these as gifts for and it, they just turned out so cute I thought I would recreate them and put them for sale for you guys to purchase So I'm going to I'm going to make the soap similar I think I learned a, a little bit about how to do it now and hopefully I don't make as big as a mess and they might even look a little cuter um, And yeah, let's get started. I'm going to mix together my lye solution that I just poured in here into my oils which is a new recipe, but I'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> All right, so I've split that off into four different containers of different shapes filled with various amounts here. The big one I'm going to color with some titanium dioxide that's been dispersed in water. And to the little guy, I already threw it in there. It was um, Nocturnal by Nature's, hello, Nurture Soap with a little bit of activated charcoal. And into this one, I've got some mocha brown. And into the other bowl, I've got some orange vibrance. And that is by Nurture Soap as well. All right, they're at a pretty thick trace for a reason, <laughs> but let's add the fragrance. This is called Mango, and it is by Crafter's Choice. Got it from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and it has other notes other than like bright mango in it. It's very mouth-watering. It has um, cyclamen, cyclamen, cyclamen. I can never remember how to say that, and uh, hibiscus in it. And I just when I think of like a, a tabby cat or a calico cat, I think. Mango is like the perfect name for a kitty cat of those colors. So mango is the name of this kitty cat soap. <laughs> I am going to hand stir that in and see how we're looking. The reason why I want this to be at a thick trace is because when I go to pour this into the mold, I need the colors to sit on top of each other, not run together so that the colors are very separate, kind of like a the pattern of a calico cat. They want you want it like a spotty looking design, and so hopefully <laughs> I can get this to where I want and into the mold without making too much of a mess because I did make a huge mess the first time I made this stuff. <laughs> but it's kind of inevitable because when you work with this soap batter, you're literally plopping it into the mold, and you're trying to like remember what colors to put where because if you put the colors too close to each other, they're not going to look the way you want. You don't want like brown sitting on top of brown, on top of white, on top of brown. You have to like alternate these colors and so you really have to pay attention. So let's get this mixed in. I'm gonna get my molds over here and start getting this put together. <laughs>
My goodness. Well, <laughs> we've got it all in the mold and I've got it all frosted. It kind of reminds me of chocolate and vanilla pudding or ice cream. Um, ears. I am going to put some ears on this. This is actually a heart column mold that I poured up and then I chopped up. It's kind of like a way to save time here instead of like individually sculpting maybe each one out of soap dough or making my own mold. I thought this would look just as good. So we've got the colors going on, the same colors that are on the inside going on on the outside here, besides the black. Um, I think this video probably needs a disclaimer for those who are squeamish when it comes to messes because that was a lot, but I kind of warned you. <laughs> um, also, the weather today is just, note to self not to try this technique when it's about 80% humidity outside. I could use a breeze right now. We've had the weirdest spring weather for April. It'll be like the 60s one day and then the 80s the next and you just don't know how to dress anymore. <laughs> and the pollen. Can you guys hear me how stuffed up I am? My sinuses are killing me. I am a mess with all of this pollen and I'm just so, I mean, I love spring. It's pretty, but the worst part are my allergies. I don't know. I need to start eating more local honey or something. There has to be a way to avoid this every year. Anyway, I have a new recipe in the soap. I have decided to go palm free in my soaps. Um, a decision that I've been thinking about for a while. No particular reason, I guess. Just they say palm oil is bad um, for the environment and not all palm oil is. The palm oil that I order from, typically from Wholesale Supplies Plus, they say they are sustainably sourced palm oil, which means they are not causing any deforestation and causing orangutans and elephants to lose their homes. Um, that's just what they say and you gotta trust that. But I, I don't know, I just figure it was time to change up my recipe and I formulated one slightly different. So the palm oil is no longer in here. And instead I have gotten rid of um, the palm oil and the canola oil and I have replaced it with sunflower oil. So still really good soap. <laughs> the recipe's still gonna be really good. I'm gonna do a little suds test at the end of this to show you guys how awesome it is. But you'd be surprised what you can find palm oil in. I mean, it's in baby food, it's in candy, in ice cream, cosmetics, it's in everything. So if there's one less thing that can be used, that can be made not using palm oil, I'm going to make my soap palm free. It sounds better to say my soap is palm free than to say it's sustainably sourced palm oil, but not knocking anyone that has done it. I mean, I've used it for years. It's, it's, it is what it is. As long as you know, you know, the source that you get it from says that it is, um, sustain, sustain, I can't even say the word anymore. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> All right, add a little glitter on here and give it a spray of the rubbing alcohol. I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours. I'm going to come back and cut it and there's still something else that's going on this soap, of course. All right, let's cut this up and see what it looks like on the inside. I'm getting like tiger vibes from this. I could totally do a version of the soap and make it a tiger. Yes, are we not getting calico kittens right there? That is perfect. I told you the mess was worth it. It had to happen. <laughs> I was also thinking about doing a cupcake version of a kitty cat. I don't even know. If that is possible, I know sticking ears on it, but it's got to be something else I could do to make a cupcake look like a cat. Look at the ears. Look at those ears. They're so cute. I love it. Oh my god, I'm so in love with the soap. In love. So there's something else going on with this soap. I could have done like whiskers, I could have done eyes. I have got more hearts. <laughs> Same thing, I took a column mold and I cut it up, the heart column mold, I cut it up and I've got these little kitty cat noses, adorable. So that is the last thing going on with soap. 
are these little noses that I made with hearts. So, I mean, you gotta love kitty cats, right? Gotta love cats. Do you guys love cats? I love cats. Of course, I keep saying no more animals. I don't want any more animals. <laughs> After these three go, no more cats. I'm tired of the hairballs and I don't know, the, the fur that's everywhere. I mean, but I love my cats. <laughs> Alright, so these will be available on June 28th. Pretty sure I have that date correct. I have been getting my dates all messed up. I'm all over the place. No, okay. I'm glad I looked. June 25th. I don't know where time lives. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I was more organized before baby came along and now I'm just like, yeah, that's that, that, that's it I think. I'll just go with that. So, if you guys want one of these, mark your calendars. June 25th is the next shop update. Stay tuned after the cutting. I'm going to get some melt and pour and attach some noses to the front to mango the cat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new and haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And join me for more fun soap making adventures and until next time i hope you guys have a very nice day and i will see you later That was weird.